hello everyone welcome to mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve this interesting integral integral from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of a square sine square of x plus v square cosine square of x dx well how to begin okay first uh, i am going to take this integral is equal to i of a so you can write i of a is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of a square sine square of x plus b square cosine square of x dx now i am going to differentiate with respect to a so here i dash of a is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 now uh, here a square so we know derivative of natural log function so here we have a square sine square of x plus b square cosine square of x then uh, according to chain rule we should differentiate a square sine square of x with respect to a so 2 times a sine square of x dx okay then we know this 2 times a is a constant so we can take outside of the integral sign and here 0 to 5 over 2 here we have sine square of x so sine square of x and um, in the denominator uh, i am going to take cosine square of x as a common factor so cosine square of x uh, then here we have b square plus here a square sine square over cosine square we know uh, tan square of x so tan square of x dx okay then uh, we can take a substitution here sine square of cosine square we know tan of x so i am going to take uh, tan of x is equal to t then uh, differentiate so here secant square of x dx is equal to dt also we should uh, change the uh, lower limit and upper limit so here 2 times a now x approaches to 0 lower boundary t approaches to tan of 0 we know 0 and uh, upper boundary x approaches to 5 over 2 tan of 5 over 2 infinity so here 0 to infinity now uh, sine square over cosine square we know uh, tan square of tan square of x so here t square so we have t square over now here uh, b square plus uh, a square tan square of x we know again t square uh, then times dx dx we know dt over secant square of x secant square of x we know 1 plus tan square of x so 1 plus t square so here 1 plus t square times dt okay then uh, partial fraction decomposition so uh, here in the numerator and denominator we have uh, even power 2 so i am going to take um, t square is equal to x and uh, this is not a u substitution so we can write this function uh, x over b square plus a square times x times 1 plus x okay now we can apply <coughs> uh, cover method so we can write uh, here now I'm going to take uh, this part so b square plus a square times x now uh, we know uh, here we should uh, plug in minus b square over a square so instead of x now minus b square over a square and here we know 1 minus b square over a square then uh, I'm going to take 1 plus x so here uh, 1 plus x now we should uh, plug in uh, we know instead of x minus 1 so here we have uh, plus minus 1 and here uh, we know b square minus a square because x we know now minus 1 so b square minus a square okay then um, we can uh, simplify and at the same time uh, we can substitute here 
so now we know x is equal to t square so we can write uh, here now 2 times a integral from 0 to infinity now uh, here we know a square minus b square and this a square this a square get cancelled so we have uh, uh, we can write uh, this function uh, first because uh, here if we take minus sign as a factor we know uh, this will be plus so a square minus b square times 1 plus so we can write 1 over a square minus b square and 1 plus x 1 plus now x we know t square so t square uh, then here we have minus sign now we know in the numerator we have b square so b square over now here we have uh, a square minus b square times a square minus b square times b square plus a square b square plus a square x we know t square and here we have d t okay then uh, we know a square minus b square here a square minus b square constant so we can take outside of the integral sign and here we have 2 times a over a square minus b square integral from 0 to infinity now here we have 1 over 1 plus t square then uh, here we have b square over b square over uh, b square plus a square t square d t okay then uh, we can integrate we know uh, both integrals are uh, arctan so we can write now i dash of a is equal to 2 times a a square minus b square and here we have arctan of t arctan of t from 0 to infinity then uh, minus here b square we know constant sorry here we know b square constant so uh, b square then uh, 1 over a so we have b b square over b times uh, now we should divide by the coefficient of t so here 1 over a so 1 over a arctan of arctan of uh, a t over b arctan of a t over b from 0 to infinity okay then uh, we can apply limit so here 2 times a a square minus b square then here we know arctan of infinity phi over 2 and arctan of 0 0 and here we know b get cancelled so here we have minus b over a arctan of infinity we know again phi over 2 okay then we know this two this two this two get cancelled so we have here a over a square minus b square we know difference of 2 square so a minus b times a plus b and here are uh, here phi is a cons uh, factor so we can take outside of the parenthesis and here we have a minus b over a so we know this a again get cancelled this a minus b a minus b also get cancelled so we have i dash of a is equal to pi over a plus b pi over a plus b okay now uh, we know i dash of a i dash of a is equal to pi over a plus b well uh, then we can integrate both sides with respect to a so here we have i of a is equal to uh, integral of phi over a plus b with respect to a so we know uh, here i of a is equal to this is we know phi constant and 1 over a plus b natural log of a plus b plus constant now uh, we should find the c constant so we can take uh, i of 0 our main integral we know integral from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of uh, a square sine square of x now we know a is equal 0 so 0 plus b square 
cosine square of x dx and we know this is also equal to pi times natural log of now a we know 0 so pi times natural log of b plus c okay then uh, yeah mm, according to property of natural log we can write here b times cosine of x square so this 2 we can write here 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 now natural log of b times cosine square of x we can write natural log of b plus natural log of cosine of x dx is equal to pi times natural log of b plus c okay now uh, here we have uh, 2 times uh, natural log of b now here 1 so we you know 1 times dx uh, integration so x uh, from 0 to pi over 2 so we have pi over 2 uh, then here natural log of cosine of x 0 to pi over 2 uh, we know uh, this integral 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine of x dx is equal to minus pi over 2 natural log of 2 uh, we saw this integral in a previous video i will add the link in the description and also make a card so uh, when uh, we apply king's property we know here natural log of sine of pi over 2 minus x so natural log of cosine of x so we know this integral and this integral are same so the answer is uh, here minus pi over 2 natural log of 2 and we know this is equal to pi times natural log of b plus c now we know uh, here uh, 2 here 2 so this 2 get cancelled and here pi times natural log of b pi times natural log of b get cancelled so c is equal to minus pi times natural log of 2 so we know our integral i of a is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of a square sine square of x plus b square cosine square of x dx and we know now uh, this is equal to pi times natural log of pi times natural log of a plus b plus c c we know minus pi times natural log of 2 so according to property of natural log we can simplify and also at the same time pi is a constant so pi times natural log of a plus b over 2 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching